What's up guys? I'm gonna give you guys a little care tutorial on how everything's used. Okay, so by selecting the number one or pressing the number one key, you will select your carrier to maneuver it in any way you want. Okay? Left click to maneuver your carrier. Left click and shift to consistently maneuver your carrier of where you want it to go. Next, launching planes. You may press two and the letter F to launch it and make it uh, circle around or defend your Hakiryu, your carrier. Second way is to left click and select your aircraft carrier, which will defend your aircraft carrier or any other ship. Third way, press the number key and left click on the screen. It will launch it eventually as you can see here. Third way, for this and to select it on the enemy ship to attack you can do it that way as well immediately next thing is after we launch all our planes left click you could either you could either press shift hold shift and you could select as many squadrons as you like as you can see here or take off as many squadrons as you like and control them. Then, if you want to select on screen, what we have here is to hold left click, creates a box, and you can select as many planes as you see on your screen. Let's begin with the scraping runs. Scraping runs are enabled with the Alt key. See, and you can also scraping run your own planes. Just remember this factor, please. So, see here. You can scraping run your own planes. So please be careful when enabling your scraping run. It is very dangerous versus even your own planes. Next thing is. The understanding of how to use torpedo and dive bombers. So, let's say we have this Zao in front of us now. What we normally do is, what I normally do at least, is I group up all my dive bombers, or my torp bombers. As you can see here, when you hold the shift key with them enabling to go somewhere, it will follow where the plane's exact location is to start their torp run. When doing your torp run, you want to aim ahead of the ship where you know it will be when the torp run begins. If you look though, when I'm doing this torping run, I'm not selecting in the center like this. Because it will not work, I'd have to aim up here. What I'm doing is I'm selecting in the center, approximately the center, in order for my torpedoes to arm right before hitting the ship. As you can see here, when they will finally attack. Which I do believe I was a little bit late. Yes, I was a little bit late. Now, you have the press left mouse click button. You can maneuver this any way you want. Including in the rear, going over the ship. Or you could select it from the front and select it going forwards. Next thing is the auto manual drops. As you can see, it's a much bigger circle when you do automatic than it is with manual. Manual is much smaller and much more precise. Once you select manual and it gets within this circle, you can no longer enable it to do anything else. So it begins its run. So, we're going to do it on this Yamato. I want to select it here. It'll still say in the same spot, no matter what. So, let's try this again. We will attempt this again. With the four runs.
to manual drop, it will select like this in front. But then again, it takes the speed into account and everything into account for you. It is not very recommended because then your torps do not drop right before the ship. They will start to arm right here, enabling the ship to actually maneuver quite easily. As you can see here, he's able to stop and wait, and I will miss most of my torpedoes. On the other hand, if I do a manual drop, they not only go inwards instead of, not only they go, they tighten up the torpedoes, but also it enables me to have much a tighter grouping when attacking the ships. As you can see there. So. So, if you were to do this, and you were back here, back of the ship, what you need to do is get on the outside of this circle, as you can see here. Wait till it gets in front of the other ship and at a perfect angle, such as like this, or a little bit of an angle, to find. Enabling it to hit every single torpedo. Ship not having the ability to maneuver or slow down. On a man, man uh, the manual drops, and you drop on it. Now, let's say you're right here. Okay? Let's say you're right within that circle, which you will pretty much never be. If you do this, your planes have to go on the outside, come back around, and you could shift it like this, and they'll come back around and attack. If you are having, let's say, a ship here that is turning, see here, what you need to do is get in the back of it and find that angle in which your torp run will be able to enable the most amount of damage effectively of where it's going to be, not where it is. So, if I were to do automatic, see how big the circle is, right? Still pretty accurate, those bomb drops. But if you do manual, the bomb drops will be much more accurate. So. AI likes to chase me down. AI chase me down. You'll see that in model turning, so you don't want a torp like this because they're all you go in the middle. What I do is find this angle and find the angle in which he will start his attack. Battleships, you want to keep the bow just in front of that line. Start at the beginning. Destroyers, you want to keep it just roughly about here, a little bit ahead. Uh, or take up a half difference as you can see the sea model's turning right now. So if I were to torp. From here, let's say, he will actually, if I were to torp from here, he will dodge probably most of these torps. Well, not in this instance, but if he turned in, he will dodge the most of them. This is a bot. Drop as you can see, this bomb hits hit. You're too close. Alright, that won't work. Now, for cross torp, I'm gonna show you guys how to cross torp. What you wanna do when you're cross torping, with most, li most likely you'll be using this ability versus cruisers, what you wanna do is attack from it from the back, one strike. And then attack from the side with another strike, crossing the other panel. So as you can see, when he turns in here, he's hitting those sides. If he goes straight with those, would 
effectively hit the other ones. Killing them. So that's what you're looking to do. Now we're gonna go for manual drops on destroyers. Very rarely will you do a manual drop on a destroyer or an automatic drop on destroyers. Destroyers, automatic drops, I recommend just the Lexington and the Americans are doing it. But you can see how big that is, right? If you do this with this huge, huge, just a huge circle, most of your bombs will miss, actually. What you have to learn is to constantly lead in front. Let's say he's going max speed. What you want to do is constantly select in front of him at a certain distance, knowing of where your bombs will start to drop. You can see 3,600 there with two bomb hits. You saw how you see group of errors. And that's a miss. And that's with the automatics on the second one. As you can see, it's not very accurate. Now I'm going to show you what to do. You have torpedo planes. Torpedo planes with destroyers, you always want to cross torp. Or the marrier. See this? Automatic. On the front, let's say. What you want to do with the manuals is, let's say the Carbodosk is running away. He will, of course, outrun the torpedoes. So, what you want to do is get like this. And then you'll have the cross torp on the section in front of him. Approximately this distance in front of the Carbodosk. That's the distance you want. Is about this distance in front. So, right when he gets up to that distance, he's going to get nailed, if he's at max speed. Of course, this Carbodosk is in at max speed, so we don't need to worry. But you want basically one, uh, basically an extra one lead of this right here. When a Carbodosk is at max speed. Or a Shimmy, or a Geary. Or actually, most destroyers, you can see. Unless, of course, you see them slowing down. So let's review this again versus destroyers. Versus destroyers. Go from the back. With your planes, try to find this right angle. And constantly try to go in front of him to bomb him with a manual drop. Again, try to get him back. Find that angle where he's gonna be. And constantly go in front of him. Obviously not here, but Carbos would be about this much of a lead. As you can see here, with the manual drops in order to hit him with the planes. Torpedoes, and destroyers. I mean, you could do it with an automatic, one automatic in the back like this, but then again, it would take so long for your for that to go there. As you can see here, look how much further back that is. It just doesn't work. It's just way too far back. The DD would be able to dodge it, no problem. What you want is about that distance. Um, where you think he'll be. As you can see, look how close that arm, torpedo arms right before the destroyer. That's what you're looking at. So, let's review this Carbodos. Let's get this Carbodos now. Again, I'm going to review the distance in which you should torp. Or cross torp with them. This is roughly the distance, or roughly the angle that you want to cross torp a Carbodos from the front. It's roughly this distance. So as you can see, if a Carbodosk is at max speed, he's going to be there by the time your torps end up over there. So, let's check out manual drops. Again, this is the 
automatic drops. As you'll see here, look how small. One bomb hit. Very little damage, because it was so spread out. Cross door for Karbadosk. What I do is this. You will go in from and back. We'll try to find that angle from and back as much as you can, as quickly as you can. About that distance from and back of him, and then after that, you'll cross torp in front of him about this much. Yeah, about that much. And as you can see here. He will have to keep straight with those torpedoes while these torpedoes are coming in from his side which enables him not to not which will not allow him to actually move so let's review the dive bombers you constantly want to go ahead about that much from a Karbadosk, adjusting of where he will and will not be and you gotta constantly hold alt and left click at all times this is the basics of the carrier tutorial. I hope you guys understood it properly. I will just review everything now, real quick. So, Alt, left click, as you can see the circle turns. Do this, the circle still turns. If you go north now, the circle still turns and you wanna find this angle on every ship that you encounter. And arming right before the ship. Hope you guys enjoyed the carry tutorial so much, and have a great day.